Hello and welcome to the video by Productivity Spot. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I am going to show you how to use the filter function in Google Sheets. Now as the name suggests, filter function would filter the data from a main data set and then based on the condition it would put it somewhere in the same worksheet or in a different worksheet. So for example here I have this data set and if I want to filter all the cells, all the records where the country is US, then I can do that using filter function. Or if I want to filter all the records where the sale value is greater than 10,000, then I can do that. Or if I want to use multiple conditions, for example, the country is US and the sale value is greater than 10,000, then I can do that as well. So let me first show you the syntax of the filter function. So if I type filter here, you can see it takes multiple arguments. The first two arguments are mandatory. So the first one is a range. This is the main data set from which you want to filter the data. So for example, in this case, my main data set would be A2 to C10, which is this entire data set. Then the second argument is the condition. This is the mandatory condition based on which the filtering would be done. So for example, if my condition is the country should be equal to US, then my condition would become B2 is to B10 should be equal to US and this should return trues and falses. So whenever the condition is true, it would filter the data, but if it is false, it would not. And then you can use multiple conditions and when all these conditions are met, then that would be filtered. So for example, if my first condition is that the country is US and the second condition is that the sale value is greater than 10,000, then all the records that meet both these conditions would get filtered. So let's see an example. Uh, let's say I want to filter all the uh, all the records where the country is US. So I would select this one as my first argument. I would press F4 to lock this. And now my condition here would be these cells in this column, I would again press F4 to lock this, is equal to US. And I'm hard coding this value here. I'm typing this manually. If you want, you can also use a cell reference. So for example, if you have a value here in some cell, then you can use the reference to that cell. And see what happens when I close the bracket, the parenthesis and hit enter. It'll give me all these records where the country is US. So in this case, there are three records. Now, since this is an array result, so for example, I just applied the formula in this cell E2. I did not copy paste this formula, but it would automatically insert it in these cells. And this is an array result, which means that if I try and delete this, it would not allow me to delete one single record. I would have to select this entire data set, this entire result of filter formula and delete it. Now let's see another example where let's say I want all the records where the sale value is greater than 10,000. So in this case, my condition would be this column. I would press F4 to lock this is greater than 10,000. And now when I hit enter, it'll give me all these records because in all these cases, the sale value is greater than 10,000. Now let's see a, uh, an example where I'm using multiple conditions. So here, let's say the range the range would be this one. I would press F4 to lock this. And the first condition would be that the country should be equal to uh, US. So I would select this column, press F4 to lock it and type US. And then the second condition would be that the sale value is greater than 10,000. So I would again use this column, column number C, uh, press F4 to lock it and this should be greater than 10,000. And let's see what happens when I hit enter it gives me two results because there are only two results that match both these conditions where the country is US and sale value is greater than 10,000. This record for Stewart where the sale value is less than 10,000 does not meet the condition and therefore it is not filtered. Now, uh, some interesting examples where you can use this is, let's say, for example, if you want to filter uh, alternate rows or uh, every even row or every odd row, then you can use the filter condition. So in this case, let's say, this is the range, I press F4 to lock it. And in my condition, I need to check whether a row number is uh, an even row number or an odd row number, and then check if it's uh, even, then it, it, it gets filtered. If it is odd, it doesn't get filtered. So here I would use first the mod formula, and within mod, I would use the row formula. And in row, I would check the row number. Now, since I'm checking the row number, you can select any column you want. I would press F4 to lock this. And I would say if this row minus one, and the reason I'm saying minus one is because my data starts from the second row. So essentially in my data set, second row in the Google sheet is the first row in my data set. So I've subtracted one here. And I would say if this 
is divided by 2 which is if mod row number divided by 2 is equal to 0 then my condition would be met so what this would do is it, it would go through each row and the row number in this case would be 1 because row minus 1 would be 1 if this is divided by 2 the remainder is not 0 it is 1 so this does not meet the condition but this would meet the condition and so would uh, row number 5 and row number 7 and row number 9 so let's see what happens when I hit enter it will instantly extract all the even row numbers here which would be Greg, Shen, Barb and Alice similarly if you want to let's say only get uh, odd row numbers then in this case instead of making it 0 I would say this is equal to 1 and now when I hit enter it will give me all the odd records which would be Rob, Stuart, Anna, Tom and Chloe so this is how you can use filter function to extract odd number rows, even number rows, you can extract every third row, every fourth row using this. Another interesting uh, use case of this formula is let's say, for example, if you want to filter all the records where uh, the sale value is above average. So in this case, what I would do is I would say filter. This would be my range, press F4 to lock it. And then here I would say that the sale value, so I would select this column, F4 should be greater than the average sale value which would be the average of these cells and now when I hit enter you can see it gives me these uh, records because only these records meet the condition where the sale value is above average so these are the ways you can use filter function and uh, now in all the examples I've shown you so far I've hard coded the value but you can also use cell references and here is a very good example of it so in this case what I've done is I've created a drop down list where the countries are listed and I've created a drop down you can manually enter in this cell but the idea is that I want to filter records based on the selection of the country so what I would do here is I would use the filter formula this would be my range I would press F4 to lock it and my condition here would be this entire column and press F4 to lock it should be equal to this cell and I would again press F4 to lock this and see what happens when I hit enter it will give me all the records for US but see what happens when I click on Australia it will instantly filter the records for Australia similarly if I come here and I select records for Canada it would instantly give me the records for Canada so this could be a great technique for dashboards where you can give your user the ability to filter data based on the selection in this case I have created only one filter but if you want you can create multiple filters so for example the country is Canada and the uh, rep name sales rep name is let's say Anna then you can have another drop down with the names of uh, these sales rep so here with filter function since this is a function this is dynamic you can instantly update the results based on what the user has entered or selected. So this is how you can use the filter function in Google Sheets. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.